So the other day I was going through the cesspool that is my Discord message requests and I saw that someone had sent me a link to Gaming Light's top donators leaderboard. Now if you've seen some of my videos I'm sure you know that I'm familiar with this police RP server. Had to slow him down. <laughs> what the? Okay. Really, man? Really? Wow. What was that wow. for? I have it on oh, clip wow, as really? well. I have it on clip as well. So when I clicked on the link, I was expecting maybe the top donator to have shelled out maybe like a couple thousand dollars, but no. The top donator had 46,450. Now, I wasn't sure if this was dollars or maybe in-game credits or something like that. So I tried asking on the Gaming Light Discord, which I was promptly banned from. So then I tried asking the top donator themselves, which we're going to be calling Moby for the rest of this video. I tried getting to a VC with them to ask them, well, is this real money, credits, what is this? But my friend request was denied and they never responded. I guess I shouldn't be surprised by this because uh, he couldn't admin sit when someone joked about him money laundering. Luckily, I was able to get into contact with a longtime staff member of the Gaming Light community. They told me that it is in fact $46,000, not credits. In fact, they actually used to have a dollar sign in front of the top donators leaderboard, but they actually removed it, I guess, to create more ambiguity to make people think maybe it's credits, maybe it's money, so they don't really know the total amount that the person's donated. So it makes me ask the question, what the f was this person spending all their money on? So I went to the Gaming Light store page and oh boy, there's some uh, great items up for store there. We've got the I Like Your Cut G Swept for eight bucks. If that doesn't tickle your fancy, you can get the Bart Simpson Dab Swept for 10 bucks. Or if you're a real high roller, you can spend $100 to get a worn wiped from your account. You know those warns that admins hand out like Tic Tacs on the server? Yeah, that costs $100 to get removed off your record. Oh yeah, they're only wiping warns of three years ago for some bizarre reason. So if you had joined the server within the past three years, I guess your warns can't be wiped. I don't know why. Really confusing. I don't I don't quite understand the thought process behind that. But if you want to know the real big ticket item that Mobius spent the lion's share of the $46,000 on, it's the custom job package for $100. Well, you may be asking, how do I know all this? Well, Gaming Light actually requires you to make a public forum post whenever you've purchased a custom job package to get it approved. So we're actually able to see Moby's full purchase history on custom jobs from the 17th of June 2018 to the 15th of December 2022. So I spent the next few hours sifting through all 35 pages of Moby's forum posts and after individually checking all 934 of his posts I've worked out that in total Moby has spent roughly $35,000 on custom jobs over the past four and a half years. Me. But it says on the custom job page that they only cost $100 each. So you might be thinking, does Moby just have 350 custom jobs on the server? Well, no, the money actually goes to all the additional fees associated with creating a custom job. Here on the custom jobs template, we can actually see what these additional fees are. And oh boy, they are some great deals. Player models can cost anywhere from $100 to up to $300, depending on the file size. Car models are even worse. They range from $425 up to $850. They try to justify these insane prices by claiming it's due to preserve the performance on the server, which is a load of b Do you really expect people to believe that a five megabyte model would cripple the server to the point where you should charge people $25 per megabyte? But yeah, the, uh, the price gouging doesn't end there. If you'd like to increase your walk speed by a whopping 1.2 times, you have to pay $20. If you want to make some minuscule changes like altering the color, name, or description of your custom job, yeah, that's going to set you back $10 each. I don't even know what the justification to charge these prices are. I mean, changing the color title of a job costs them nothing to do, but they still feel the need to charge you above the US federal minimum wage to do it. I think EA would be proud, they would really shed a tear for the sheer amount of microtransactions Gaming Light has managed to shoehorn into their server. To put this $35,000 that have been spent into perspective, let's take a look at one of Moby's forum posts. This is probably one of my personal favorites. Here we can see Moby spent $400 to change the player model of one of his custom jobs called Secret Agent Zoe. And you're gonna love this. Secret Agent Zoe is an ex-secret agent that is now wanted by the FBI and the Secret Service due to the fact that she knows everything of what the government has done 
and has their own private web browser of every single information of decades of the government, which even the FBI nor Secret Service agents can crack down and get into the system themselves. Now, you may be wondering, what the is this grammatical nightmare? Ah, uh, this is Moby's custom description that he paid $10 on. You think if you paid $10 on a custom description, you could at least hire someone who speaks fluent English to write your description for you? Well, $400, let's take a look at what secret agent Zoe looks like. Oh, oh, and it's even complete with jiggle physics too. Absolute f***ing cancer. So now that $35,000 has been accounted for, you may be wondering where did the other 11,000 go? Some of this can be explained by other purchases on the store, such as knives, sweeps, vapes, golden weapons for $100 for some reason. All these don't require public posts like the custom jobs. So there's no way of knowing how much of the 11,000 went to these other purchases. But I can assure you that this is not where the lion's share of the $11,000 went. In fact, it went to something called custom job auctions. Well, what are custom job auctions? Well, to explain what a custom job auction is, I must tell you the definition of what permanent means on a server like Gaming Light. You see, all these custom jobs have the word permanent in the title, but Gaming Light likes to use the word permanent a little loosely to say the least. In their disclaimer before you purchase anything on the store, they outline that the word permanent refers to the length of time the server is active. Okay, makes sense. As long as the server exists, your custom job exists. I don't really have a problem with that. That makes perfect sense. But this isn't the case at all. In fact, permanent actually can range from the end of the server's life to whenever gaming light feels like it. I found this little nugget of information on the forum post. According to the lead account manager at Gaming Light, permanent is only relative to when you're actively using the purchased product. Otherwise, it's sold off or removed. Huh. So why isn't this little tidbit of information mentioned anywhere before purchasing the product? It's nowhere to be seen on the product description. It's not on the disclaimer before buying in the store. And it's not in the disclaimers in the forum post you have to fill out. The only place I actually found this information was buried in an FAQ forum post. Why you wouldn't show customers this FAQ on the store page is beyond me. But the two extra cherries on top are the extra hidden fees of $20 to get your job back if you're deemed inactive. And this little zinger that says by buying a custom job, you agree that you will stay active on the job or risk it being sold off slash removed for performance reasons. Which is a blatant lie because I forked over $100 to buy a custom job and not once did it tell me to agree to anything like this. All right, here we go. We're buying a custom job. Let's check the details. Is there anything about hidden fees, anything? Think about inactivity? No, nothing's mentioned here. I don't see anything about inactivity. My job will be removed if I'm inactive. No, there's no link to the FAQ on the store page. Uh, you managed to link this forum post though. Here it is. No disclaimer at the bottom about the uh, $20 fee to get my job back or anything about the inactivity. Don't see that anywhere. Yeah, weird, weird. Don't know why you couldn't have linked the FAQ here. That would have been real good. Anyway, maybe there's disclaimers when I add it to cart. Is there any disclaimer when I add to cart? Let's check the cart. No, there's no disclaimer here, of course. Maybe it's when I check out. Is there a disclaimer when I check out? No, I don't see the disclaimer anywhere here about what I'm about to purchase. I don't see any disclaimer here about any inactivity. We have the right to remove this product from you if you're inactive. Nothing about a $20 fee yet. Maybe it's when the purchase goes through. Let's check out here. No, my payment was successful. Uh, no mention though. So weird. Funny that. In fact... In fact, I actually bought this twice just to double check that I wasn't getting something wrong or something didn't pop up. There is no disclaimer about it. Sounds like to me you've purposely omitted important pieces of information to your customers. But it gets even better. Now, when you think of inactivity, you think maybe a year or two of not playing on the server at all and no contact. But no, thanks to their complete ambiguity on what time period constitutes inactivity, they can take your custom job away from you whenever they want. Evident by this forum post, which shows a member asking why his custom job was removed after only two months of inactivity. Which is hilarious to me on two different levels because not only was his $150 custom job removed only after 60 days of inactivity, but also the fact that the member was never contacted or made aware that this custom job was going to be removed. You'd think you'd have the decency to at least inform your customers that are donating hundreds of dollars that their player model is going to be removed, but uh, that's just me. 
Okay, so I've explained what permanent and inactivity means on Gaming Light, but what has this got to do with custom job auctions? Well, these permanent custom jobs that are deemed inactive are not just removed from the server. No, 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 that would mean Zeepdin can't make any additional money. These custom jobs are instead auctioned off to a select group of players on the server via a Discord server. The Premier Club is a private gaming light Discord server only available to players that donated $500 or more. This is where the auctioning occurs. It's actually a piece of grifting genius. Here we can see a screenshot on the server where we can see the lead account manager auctioning off some poor sods, 10 custom jobs jobs, which he paid $4,000 in total for. But seeing as the benevolent Gaming Light staff are so generous, they're allowing you to buy them all at a discounted price of $2,200. This is a steal apparently. So the starting price is $2,200 and all these pay pigs and whales bid their way to be the lucky winner of these custom jobs and everyone goes home happy. But to me, this is an extremely scummy practice. I mean, if the custom jobs are inactive and aren't being used at all and they've already been paid for fully why not just release them for free for all the players to use or at the very least make them a donor slash vip only job i mean you've already made four thousand dollars the server storage and creation costs have already been paid for it couldn't hurt you just to release it as additional content for the players to enjoy but no zeepden finds another way to gouge his player base for money getting paid 470 dollars each to implement a custom job isn't enough for him and they have to resell it again and effectively get paid twice for one custom job imagine if you're a big tf2 fan and you buy a team captain hat and you play for a bit but then you get busy with work or job or school so you decide to stop playing for two months and when you eventually do come back you find out that valve has actually taken your item away from you due to inactivity and has actually resold it to someone in an auction i think it's amazing they managed to find a way to scalp an extra two thousand two hundred dollars off the already four thousand dollars they've made and people like moby are willing to spend over eleven thousand dollars to buy them I guess my biggest question is, what possesses someone to spend $46,000 on a single Gmod server? I mean, this isn't just for every Gmod server. These items and packages only apply to a single Gmod server. They aren't tradable or transferable. This would be the equivalent of spending $46,000 on CSGO skins that you can only use on a single community server. Except actually, that would be actually a better scenario because at least you could sell these skins for real world money on the Steam market. I mean, if you're gonna spend $46,000 on a Gmod server, wouldn't you just create your own in the first place? I mean, you could add any custom model that you wanted for free. You don't have to pay these outrageous prices. You could hire people to create add-ons and customize and run your server. And I'm pretty sure it'd be a lot cheaper than $46,000. It's pretty sad and pathetic that this is how Gmod servers have gone. I remember when it used to just be, oh, we only want donations to cover our server costs. But now it just seems like every single Gmod roleplay server has some sort of microtransaction or extra DLC to shove in your face. I think Gaming Light is the worst offender out of all of them that I've seen. I can't wait to see the mental gymnastics Zeepdin's going to do to try and justify why he charges these insane prices. No doubt they're going to say that this is, oh, it's expensive to run servers, expensive. Oh, I got to hire people to make custom maps and custom skins and stuff. When in reality, you rip stuff from the workshop and charge people to put it into your game. Uh -huh.